Ladies and gents, ladies and gents, what is cracking, what is popping, what is up? First of all, uh, it's a beautiful Saturday. I got shit to do. As you can see, I'm dressed, dressed up for success. I want to talk and have a quick conversation with you guys. Uh, this video is going to be called Twice a Child, Once a Man. And <laughs> I just came from a client's house. So uh, it's, it's his, he, he owns a house in Florida, but he has a house here up here in the Bronx. And I didn't, I thought it was his house, but it was actually his sister's house and his sister passed. I, I, first of all, I met this guy years ago, but I saw him again earlier this year. And he was like, yeah, I'm selling this one. I'm going to sell this one here. And it's a nice three over three with the one bedroom walk in brick house, semi detached with a nice lot to the side. Easily. I could probably, probably get him a million for it. But his girlfriend, who I thought she was going to sell her house and also go to Florida because that's where he's going. She wants to rent it now instead of selling it. I really don't want to deal with the rental, but I understand that if I do a great job for her and they're probably going to have me manage the property once they get down to Florida because they want to rent the whole thing. So I realize if I do a great job with this rental, he's going to give me the sale and it's going to be a great sale. But uh, I just came from talking to him. I did some photos. I did some videos. Maybe I'll put it online. I don't know. But we just having a conversation. Because in sales, yeah, you know, I got and I got mad stuff to do. But at the same time, when you show interest in people and people know that you care, they fuck with you. When people see that you're just out for yourself, out for a quick buck, quick commission, they ain't fucking with you. And energy and vibration is real because you can sense all that by people, how people carry themselves, what they say, how they talk. All of that stuff, in my opinion, shows up in body language based upon how you carry yourself especially in sales because everyone looks at a salesman like you're a sleazeball so i gotta go out of my way to make sure people understand i'm not a fucking sleazeball i don't need your money <laughs> you know i gotta that's what i gotta go i gotta do anyway i was talking to him and having a conversation with him because i started asking him um how he learned how to do the construction and stuff like that and he t and i thought he i thought he learned from the islands he learned self-taught here he said all he was doing was reading studying and, and learning learning how to do it on his own so I was amazed at the fact that this man, like he does really good work, that he was able to teach himself the, the carpentry and handy handyman stuff without going to school, trade school, anything, just, just on his own. I thought that was fire. And we ended up having a conversation about somehow it got into what it means to be a man. And, you know, he was talking about, uh, ah, man, I forgot what he was saying, but he said something about like, show up, show up and do your work. Um handle your responsibilities and so much more but it was very interesting to hear his perspective and he started talking about how he he said how he had a son i didn't know he had a son but he started talking about how he had, he had a conversation with his son and how um him and his son and, and, and another friend of his sons was talking about women and sex and all this other stuff and he really came at it from a very um uh, uh mature point of view where he is basically like you know, uh, sex is not just a, a physical get it on thing. Uh, it's a it's a intimate, private expression of love. Not in that order, but those are the words he used. It's an intimate, private expression of love. And he started going into how, you know, men and women are to blame right now because women are all over the place, men are all over the place. And he used the example of J-Lo, where... The situation with Ben Affleck and J Lo just get they just got together and got and, and and now they're done. And he was talking about how her own people call her a J Ho, you know. So um it just made me think. It just made me think. But that the real the one that really got me was the uh once a man, twice a child, where uh, oh no, no, that's how that's what happened. I asked him because he was talking about how he's great at it, he was doing it, he was making a lot of money, but at a certain point, it got too too tiresome on his body and his knees, and I asked him, so what point in your life do you think, what age is good where you think it, it really becomes a, a detriment at, uh, to your life? And he was saying that at 50. Past 50, it's tough. You know, because he was like, uh, you know, 50, you're, you're going up. Once you hit 50, you're you're here. You know, you're, you're, you're stagnant, and then after like 55 to 60, you start going down is what he started saying. And he said that's what he and that's when he came up with the um or maybe he, I'm sure he didn't come up with it, but he stated once a man, twice a child, because once you get past that certain age, you start going down, it's like you're going back into childhood. And I thought it was so 
effing deep it blew my mind and it really had me thinking about like it honestly it really made me say all right how do i make sure i keep my shit together like keep my body together keep my mind together and also put around me again i'm not getting married so how do i put around the uh safeguards in my life where i have people to take care of me i have whether it be a filipino nurse or an asian nurse or somebody to help take care of me and of course that that entails working hard now putting in time getting assets and all this other stuff but it really just made me think about my life now and then knowing that i am getting older in 30 years i will be 63 and time is flying so i just want to share that with you fellas because uh this is a thinking man's journey and we as men we got to think we got to grow we got to just process life in a at a much higher level and lastly i'll say this this is why it's important to talk to older men this is why it's important to talk to people who have more life experience than you you know twice a child once a man deep later i got shit to do